In this pony video, I'm going to show you how to repair um, holes in the bodies of the ponies. So this pony has a big hole, a chew hole in her foot. We're going to repair these with epoxy sculpt. Uh, it has an A and B, and you mix them in equal parts together. You use gloves, and uh, it sets up pretty quickly. You have to knead it together like as, as though you're kneading dough, and you mix it together, and then you're ready to apply. The great thing about this product is that you don't have to bake it like you do Fimo or Sculpey clay, which would be bad for your pony. So it just sets up in a few hours, and then you're ready to sand or paint or whatever you need to do. So let's get started. I don't need a lot to fix this foot, so I'm not going to take a lot out of the jars. That looks about equal to me. Just like Play-Doh. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You just apply this and try to make this foot look like this foot. A lot of customizers use this product as well to create all kinds of additions to their ponies, but we're not going to do that today. The working time on this epoxy sculpt is about two to three hours, and then you need to let it cure for 24 hours so that it has a rock hard finish. Um, that's what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna sand it with a very fine grit sandpaper, and then we'll have to paint. The epoxy sculpt has set for 24 hours, so it's fully dried. Um, one thing that I would like to point out is I had to do a second coat to get good coverage because it was tending to collapse inside the big hole that was in her foot. So I've got two co coats on here and now we're ready to sand it down with some very fine sandpaper and then we will paint it. So this is the sandpaper I got at my local home goods store. And um, we're just gonna tear a piece off and start sanding very carefully um, and see how that works. We have a lot of fingerprints left in the clay, so we wanna be sure to get those out and make this edge uh, where the clay meets the pony's body as smooth as possible. So I sanded this down and it's pretty smooth. I don't really feel a line between um, the new part and the pony's original body. There may be a little bit of a uh, telltale sign that this is, you know, an add-on on the bottom of the foot, but we're not really worried about that because we need to mark that this was a deflocked pony and has been modified anyway, just to be ethical and that sort of thing. So now I'm going to have to try to match the paint of this pony's body uh, and get it as seamless as possible. So to do that, I've got a couple of colors that look pretty close, um, and then I've got an entire set of small containers of acrylic paint. Um, so between with all of these to choose from, I think I'm gonna have a good chance of getting a good match. So now it's just a matter of trying trial and error uh, to see if I can get the right color. It's pretty close. Just remember, it's going to dry darker. I've got this covered in the, the paint that I've selected. Um, it's pretty darn close. Uh, I guess if you get right up on it, you can see that there's a, a difference. But, you know, it's always going to be a little bit different. Um, on this, the epoxy sculpt versus this this plastic. Um, this luckily is her non-display side, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, going forward, I'm going to work on some of these symbols on some of these ponies that I have here. They've got some rub so that the symbol's coming off, so I'm going to touch this up, and I'm going to touch up a few eyes on some other ponies in the next video, and we'll 
uh, go over how you can do that. So stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.